thrown all over the place. My TV was gone. And I immediately went to my office and found that all you know, these instruments had been taken. Fourteen of them. A local musician returns from a concert to find his home ransacked, dozens of things stolen, including his treasured instruments. Good evening, everybody. Break-ins are bad enough, people invading your private space, taking your personal possessions. But in this case, they took a musician's livelihood and instruments he's collected for 20 years. The Springfield Township break-in happened on Friday night while the musician, Brian Berkeley, was out of town. We heard about it on Facebook, and today, Berkeley sat down with Local 12's Rich Jaffe to talk about this devastating theft. And Rich joins us now from, appropriately, Music Hall. Hi, Rich. Hi, Cammie. This is the kind of stage where Brian Berkeley is most comfortable, not in the spotlight as a victim of crime. But he has taken that stage in the hope that the more we talk about what happened to him, the greater the slim possibility is that he might get his very special horns back. In Brian Berkeley's hands, a trumpet is much more than just an instrument. It's a treasured old friend that transforms his passion and skill into a thing of auditory beauty. That's why when he walked into his home Sunday evening to find it had been ransacked, he was devastated. These instruments, they're not just pieces of metal, they're not just a dollar amount. It's, it's my voice, it's what I use to express myself. And to have them just taken after years and years of searching to find the perfect instruments to do what I need to do as a professional musician. I, I can't tell you how hurt I was. While Berkeley was in Grand Rapids playing with the symphony Friday evening, thieves broke in through a side door and trashed his home, stealing everything from a TV set to his clothes, even Nike socks. But worst of all, they stole cases containing 14 vintage trumpets and coronets. We talked today as he cradled one of his remaining Bach Stradivarius trumpets. For me to find this, it took 15 years. So once you get something like this, you usually don't get rid of it. The break-in was discovered Saturday morning by Brian's dad. The decision was made not to tell Brian until after his concerts. His dad told me about it with tears in his eyes. And we talked to friends about it, and we talked to the police about it, and they thought there wasn't anything he could do until he got back anyway. And we also didn't want him to drive recklessly back and be under that duress. So we decided to wait, and I met him at his house and when he got back. Insured, yes. Replaceable, probably not. It takes time to learn the instrument and communicate with it. And eventually, it captures your voice, you capture its voice, and then you work kind of as one. Now, as you can imagine, these horns are worth thousands of dollars. Police have alerted the pawn shops. There are people watching Craigslist. But, you know, the value of those horns, if someone were to try and sell them, is nothing compared to the value of them to Brian and his family. You have to hope that maybe, just maybe, with these very special instruments, the thief might find out he or she has a heart, and they might very carefully pile them up someplace and uh, call somebody. At Music Hall, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Cammy. Yeah, I feel so bad for Brian because, you know, I mean, really the value for him is it's probably priceless, but you're a music guy, Rich. If you had to put just a ballpark figure, what do you think those things were worth? What was the investment there? Uh, well, different kinds of investment. You know, there's the financial investment, which truly is tens of thousands of dollars for Brian over the course of 20 years. But, you know, it's his life that's built into those things. It's his performances. Each horn has specific traits that he uses for certain types of music. He plays all over the world. And now, even his career will have to be somewhat on hold until he finds horns that can maybe replace these for some upcoming concerts that he has to do. It's a, just a miserable situation. We can only hope he gets those instruments back. Yeah, you raised a good point. I'm sure there was an emotional investment too. Rich, thank you for the story. For that. Yeah, and we did learn about what happened to Brian, as I mentioned, on our Facebook page. And that's where you can leave stip, uh, rather tips and story ideas as well. We'd love to hear from you. And if you know anything about this break in, you are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 352 3040. And hopefully, some help will get Brian his instruments back. And for a complete list of the instruments and the serial numbers, we have a link at local12.com. Just click on the red Get It button, it'll take you there.